With high school football games starting next week, some parents are pleading with state leaders to let them see their kids play. The state's COVID restrictions limit games to 100 fans. A group of Republican lawmakers filed a bill that would increase the number of people who could attend from a max of 100 people to 40% of a facility's capacity. The bill only applies to high school sports that are played outdoors. New at 11, CBS 17's Chris Clark joining us to show us how important those fans are to the schools. Yeah, just not just atmosphere. No doubt, th this season has been like no other for those who participated in high school basketball. The campaign was challenging, especially for those schools who worked so hard to make the season happen, but lost so much money in doing so. Our Todd Gibson has the story. It's the sounds no basketball coach ever wants to hear during a game. Sometimes I do hear the air conditioner or the lights on, and I don't like that. <laughs> At South Granville High School, where basketball is a passion, that has never been a problem. The Vikings are used to playing before a packed house. But as we all know, the pandemic will not allow that this season. This whole setup is different. Knowing that this would have been packed and sold out for our JV game three hours ahead of our game um, to 25 people in the stands, it, it's different. And financially devastating. In their recent home game against arch rival Granville Central, the school missed out on nearly $4,400. That's the difference between allowing just 25 fans to attend and opening the floodgates to 660 fans. Even if we have to lose a little bit of money and this and that, we were going to make it happen, and I'm glad we did. And the players are thankful for that opportunity, but sad so many of their friends can't be a part of it. I miss, I miss them for sure, especially the sideline, the student section, everybody over there. You make a big shot. They touching you, slapping you, hyping you up. So, yeah, I definitely miss that. But it's certainly better than not playing at all. We're wearing masks 24-7, it seems, but we're playing the game we love.